Hi everyone, it's Louise from Lulu Purple. Today I'm going to be using the Tim Holtz stamps Bird Crazy to do my art journal display piece for my window. First of all, I've cut two sides of a cereal box and stuck them together and I am just cutting them down to size. Now I am using my matte gel and I am just putting on different pieces of scrap paper and sticking them down then going over the top of them with the matte gel again. Here I am using my black archival ink pad and some watercolour card and I am just stamping all my bird images onto the card. Now I am using my Distress inks and a paintbrush to colour in all my birds. I'm not being too careful about going over the edges or the eyes because I will be cutting them out and putting new eyes on them. I'm just stamping out the eyes of all the different birds so that I can cut them out. Once the ink has dried I am now using my Distress Glaze over the top to seal in the inks. I am now cutting out all the birds, not worrying about their legs. I am now using my pit pen to go around the outside edge of all my eyes. Next I use my Cosmic Shimmer acrylic glue to stick down all the eyes onto the birds. I am now using my pit pen again to go around the outside edge of all the birds. At this point I thought I might as well do two display pieces at once so I am just gessoing another piece of cereal box. Going back to my first background I am just cutting away the excess paper from around the edges and now I am using my pit pen to add shadow to all the pieces of paper and around the outside edge. Now I am adding a layer of gesso which I am watering down so that it's not quite as white so I can still see the paper in the background. Going back to my second background, I am now using my Distress Paints and I am just using my finger to blend the paint onto the card.
Here I am just finishing off painting my second lot of birds. Again I am using my Distress Glaze over the top of the ink to seal the ink in. I am now working on my first background again and I am using my Distress Paints and just blending the paint with my finger. Now that the paint has all dried I am just drawing some lines for my birds to perch on and I am stamping the birds with my archival black ink pad. Because these are display pieces from my shop window, the words that I am adding are just all the products that I have used to make these display pieces. I am using my matte medium to stick down all my words. Now I am using my modelling paste through a Tim Holtz stencil called Bubbles. So now I am adding my Cosmic Shimmer Emboss Powder over the top of the wet paste. I will then leave these overnight for the modelling paste to dry before I heat set the emboss powder. If you try to heat set the emboss powder before the modelling paste has had a chance to dry out, you'll find that the modelling paste will bubble with the heat. So this is the next day after the modelling paste has dried out overnight and I am now heat setting the emboss powder with my heat tool. I am now using my archival inks with my blending tool through a stencil which is called Dot Fade.
Now I am using my pit pen dark sepia to go around the outside of all my birds to create a shadow. I am now using my black pit pen. I am now using my silver Signo Uniball pen. I have used my Cosmic Shimmer acrylic glue to stick down all the bird images onto my background. I hope you have enjoyed watching this video. If you have, please give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Links to my website, Facebook and more will be in the description below. Thanks again for watching and I hope you got inspired.